All right, you guys. So I am doing another first look video. So <clears throat> I'm making some changes this year um, just because I want to try something different. You know what? Uh, I've tried a lot of different stuff and I'm going to try some different things this year. So I'm not, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about, about other equipment, but I'm trying some new things. Um, <clears throat> I've been running a Strike Master 40 volt for, you know, quite a few years now. And it's been a good auger, you know, I, but it's heavy. If, if anybody knows, you know, especially running and gun, like I drill a lot of holes, um, 40 volt. It's a good auger, but it was, it's definitely heavy to run around, drag around all, all day long. So decided to make a different investment this year. Um, Ion came out with the brand new Ion Alpha Plus right here. First look, um, I've been looking at some of the specs on this bad boy and I'm really liking it. Three and a half inches per second drill time, which that thing eats ice. That's ridiculous. And it weighs less than 16 pounds. I think it's 15.9 pounds and up to 2,000 inches per charge on these batteries. And I believe you can use, <coughs> don't hold me to this, I believe you can use the last generation batteries from the ions on this bad boy at the same time. Comes with a three year warranty. Uh, this is the Al Ion Alpha Plus. So this has the eight inch composite auger bit on it, okay? That means it's lighter. Hmm. Let's take, let's, let's open her up. All right. Oh. What do we have here? Oh my God, styrofoam, I've always wanted some. Just kidding. Is this gonna... Oh, Whoa, what do we got going on here? Oh, look at that. Packaging we have here. Ion 40 volt Gen 3 battery, right here. Oh, okay. So three quarters full, I gotta make sure and charge that. Battery. Put this over there for now. Battery charger. Let's see here. <clears throat> we got the auger flighting here. That is a very, very light Flighting, I will say that thing. I will say that for sure. Um, heck, let's take let's take the top off. Get a look at her. Ooh, you know, just and I, you know, I haven't I haven't really really like you know <clears throat> tore this thing apart top to bottom, but I looked at a lot of specs on it and I was like what I seen. You know what I I do like center point. <laughs> Center point on an auger is a big thing because if you don't have a center point, guess what? You're cutting your boots up. I lost a brand new pair of mocks a couple years ago to an auger that did not have a center point. So I had it for like a week and sold it. All right, got the flighting here. I know that they sell, uh, I've seen extensions for these bad boys. I'm gonna have to get one for Devil's Lake. <coughs> and you know, batteries. I. I don't know, you know, I I like to have at least three batteries for my for my unit, so I'm gonna have to get a couple more batteries. But flighting the power head in this thing looks just tiny. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Power head is right here. Take a look at this guy. Give you a nice close-up look. Top of the power head. Of course, it's got forward, it's got reverse, and it actually has 
it has more it has multiple gears you guys sounds sounds weird but i believe there's a there's a low and a high speed on this bad boy for when the fish are biting you really got to start drilling the holes hmm let's put this mamma jamma together uh it's kind of nice it's got the key right here <clears throat> or the, the allen wrench key what am i doing wrong here guys help a brother out Oh, there we go. All right. I'll take this out here. Like, I don't, hopefully, I think that these videos are going to come out before ice hits. And when I say before ice hits, I mean, like, this weekend, like, I'm, I'm leaving for South Dakota tomorrow for, to, for an ice show in Sioux Falls. And uh, I think that... That by the time, you know, I get back, a lot of the ponds and stuff are going to be already iced over. Not to the point where you can go out and fish on them, but I would say within a week. All right, we're going to put this guy back in there, I think. So we're going to try. Oh, yeah. Putting this mamma jamma in there. It's easy enough. <clears throat> it's in there nice and snug too. And I let, you know, let's see here. I'm going to take a look at the flighting, see how solid that is. I don't like a wobbly flighting. You guys probably don't either. I did notice that with some other augers. You get a wobbly flighting in there and it's just no good. All right, that's in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this key back so I don't lose it. Some horrible losing stuff. Battery's not charged yet, but guess what? We're gonna put it on there. Anyway, I'm kinda curious. What's this? Oh, I see, I see. Ah. There's a mechanism here to lock your battery on. There you go. She's not coming off. She's on. Kind of curious. Whoa. Okay. They probably don't recommend this. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going to press it for a second here. See that? That's literally low. Press down a little bit more. Hi. That is badass, you guys. You can literally control the speed <clears throat> of your uh, of your auger. Um, I, you know, I know on the 40 volt you can't. It's just you hold it down and it goes. But with this Alpha Plus, you can control the speed on it. <clears throat> you know, the handles. I like the handles. Look at that. It's diff you know, it's different from the old school ion with the handlebars on it. That feels really, really good in the hands. And it's really, really light. This is I you know, big, huge, heavy grips. I don't I don't like little tiny teeny handlebar grips, you know. Feels good. Forward, reverse, more than one speed, safety switch here. Hmm. I'm really liking this auger, you guys. We're gonna see, well, obviously we can't see it rip through the ice until we get, you know, at least a foot of ice. So I probably won't be using this until, you know, we get, you know, the, the to me, the, the, like the Milwaukee drills with the pistol bits and stuff like that, to me, those are the ones that I like to use early ice. Honestly, even late ice last year, my six inch pistol bit dude i was ripping through ice on that um but when you you know when you're when you're hammering holes through a lot of thick ice um you know essentially th these are the units that are made for that you know drills heat up 
smell funky, can break down, so on and so forth. And uh, I'm gonna have to, I think they make a six inch flighting for this too, I hope. If there is, I'm gonna have to get one. But streamlined, I really, really like this. And uh, yeah. I think I covered about everything <clears throat> on this bad boy that I know about. Like I said, this is, I'm just, I'm just average Joe. I'm not, you know, I'm not pro staff for ion or nothing like that. Um, I just, you know, I got this auger and wanted to give it a shot. And that's the average guy's first look at this auger. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to probably do a review on this auger as well. Once we get some ice and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I was